the difference between the Mexican American War and the Texas Revolution. The American and Mexican War was from 1846 to 1848, marked the first U.S. armed conflict fought for in foreign soil. It pitted the political, divine, military, unprepared Mexicans against the unexpected mind administrations of U.S. President James K. Polk, who believed the United States was the manifest destiny to spread across the continent of the Pacific Ocean. Facts about the war. Before invading Mexico, the U.S. tried to buy some of its territory in the late 1845. James, or President James K. Polk sent diplomat John Siddle on a secret mission to Mexico. Siddle was tasked with sending a long-standing disagreement about the border between the two countries. But he was also authorized to offer this agreement between the border between the border of Mexico of $25 million and their territories of New Mexico and California. The Mexican refused to consider the offer. Polk updated and ordered 4,000 troops of Zachary Taylor to, to occupy the land of the Nereasis River in the Rio Grande. Who won and how? The United States won the war and Mexico signed the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848. The treaty gave the U.S. lands that would become the states of Arizona, California, New Mexico, Nevada, Utah, southwestern Colorado, and southwestern Wyoming. Mexico received $15 million and gave up its claims to Texas. What happened after the war? The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, signed on February 2, 1848, ended the Mexican-American War in favor of the United States. The war had begun, begun almost two years earlier, in May 1846, over a territorial dispute, dispute involving Texas. The treaty added an additional 5,000 or 525,000 square miles to the United States territory, including the land that makes up all, all or parts of present-day Arizona. California Colorado, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. Mexico also gave up all claims to Texas and recognized the Rio Grande as America's southwestern boundary. Why it happened. The revolution began on October 1835 after a decade of political and cultural clashes between the Mexican government and the increasingly large population of American settlers in Texas. Colonists and Tejanus disagreed on whether the ultimate goal was independence or return to the Mexico Constitution of 1824. How it became, how they peaked and free. After gaining independence from Spain in 1820s, Mexico welcomed foreign settlers to sparsely populated Texas on a large group of Americans led by Stephen F. Austin settled along the Brazil River. Americans soon outnumbered the resident Mexicans and by the 1830s attempted by the Mexican government to regulate the semi autonomous American communications led to rebellion in March 1836 in the midst of arms conflict with the Mexican government. Texas declared it its independence from Mexico. The Texas volunteers initially suffered a defeat against the forest fort for Fortress of Mexican General Santa Ana. The Alma fell and Sam Houston's troops were focused into an eastward retreat. However, in the late April, Houston's troops surpri surprised Mexican force San Santos and Santa Ana was captured, bringing an end to Mexican's effort. The aftermath did Texan win the Battle of San Jacinto. Okay.